Hello friends, the topic of discussion for today is Hindi films in Mehboob Khan and it is a symbolic expression lecture which is a special lecture and as an interpreter we have Manisha Sharma with us. In the earlier lecture dealing with Mehboob Khan's films we talked about that how the kind of cinema uh, which was made by him in the colonial period was trying to in a way raise the consciousness of the masses. And uh, one of his films, Deccan Queen, uh, which we talked about that how uh, that film was a stunt film and stunt films of those times always talked about the issues of legitimacy and illegitimacy. And that film particularly was also in that uh, context and how it talked about the ideas of patriotism within the framework of uh, the colonial rule. We have also seen that how Mehboob Khan in the later times, uh, he made a film called Aurat in 1940, the remake of which uh, was made by him again in 1957 uh, with the title of uh, Mother India and how this film not only uh, became popular but at the same time it was also dealing with the issue of uh, nation building that India had uh, become independent in 47 and in 1950s uh, there was a lot of uh, issue with regard to the idea of nation building and filmmakers also they participated in this uh, task of nation building. So, in that particular context, if uh, one can, uh, if one wants to refer the various uh, kinds of bibliography or the references uh, in terms of the source material which is available is uh, Rauf Ahmed's Mahbub Khan, The Legends of Indian Cinema, Gulzar et al, Encyclopedia of Hindi Cinema, Films of Mahbub Khan and wikipedia.com. So, these are uh, some of the readings or the references which one can refer when uh, one is talking about uh, the films which have been made by uh, Mehboob Khan. We have also seen that how uh, during this particular period in 1939 he made a film called Ekhi Rasta about the wrongs of society and the laws which are there. And it makes a noticeable application of the world war as well and the story revolves around the three friends in a city and the female protagonist and her father they arrive from the village and one of the friends kill the father of the female protagonist. And we also see that the villain they sell the female protagonist to a wealthy man and she manages to escape and stays with the male protagonist who helps her. Also, we find that the both of them, they fall in love in the process and the second world war intervention is also there and uh, all the three friends, they enlist and the film then revolves around the return uh, of these people from, from the war and the killing of a uh, rapist by one of them. And then how he is tried in the court and is being convicted uh, for killing the rapist. So, uh, we find that such kind of portrayals uh, which were being made during this point of time, uh, they were also uh, in a way talking about the reality of that particular period that he was trying to connect with the world war and also that point of time the world war had started in 1939. And the problems which were associated with war, they were also being shown in that particular film. Uh, then uh, one of the films which I have also talked about initially was Aurat, which was made in 1940 uh, and how Sardar Akhtar played an important role in this film. The Bhishi uh, played the role which was later uh, played by Nargis in the film called Mother India in 1957. And the film basically shows that how her husband runs far away leaving her to fend for herself against the kind of poverty which is there and she has two sons, one is obedient Ramu and the wild one which is Birju and how Birju becomes a bandit in the course of time and he kidnaps his childhood sweetheart. And uh, how Radha, the role played by Sardar Akhtar, she kills her own son for uh, saving uh, the honor of a girl of that particular village. So, in a way the kind of picture which has been in a way depicted by Mehboob Khan in this film 
the picture of the Indian poor in the rural vast land of the society and he also talks about the various kinds of issues which are concerned with the rural indebtedness uh, that how people those who have to take loan from the money lenders and they become indebted to these money lenders the feudal oppression which is there in the society as well is also being shown in the film the poverty of the peasantry that how uh, peasantry was under the burden of the peasant uh, of the money lenders and in this context the position of the women in the society that how a woman plays a major role and she in a way uh, uh, takes uh, forward the family takes care of the entire household and uh, the inspiration for this film was from the pearl as bucks novel uh, the good earth and uh, this film as i told you was again made in 1957 with the title of uh, mother india then uh, we also see that apart uh, from the aurat which was made in 1942 and uh, which was in a way connected with the kind of issues which were relevant to the indian society he also made a film as you can see on the screen uh, called roti in 1942 and this film was inspired by the german expressionism and uh, when you talk about the german expressionism that it refers to a number of related creative movements beginning in germany before the first world war that reached a peak in berlin during the 1920s and uh, this was also a technique of highly symbolic acting and the symbolic events so this uh, film uh, roti was concerned uh, with this kind of a movement which were not only uh, there in the film but expressionism uh, was a movement which was attached with the art and uh, either painting and other spheres of art as well and it also sought to convey the inner subjective experience through the external objective means and how it was characterized by the highly stylized sets and the acting so we find that how expressionism used a new visual style uh, which embodied high contrast and simple editing in the first shot in the studios where they could employ deliberately exaggerated and dramatic lighting and camera angles to emphasize some particular effect fear horror and pain so this uh, kind of a technique became popular in germany and it was also uh, one of the strands of uh, the uh, movement which was associated with art and we find that uh, when is trying to critique uh, the exploitation of the starving and the helpless poor by the wealthy elite and some kind of an allegory which was contrasting the purity of the tribal life against the corruption of the city how they are being juxtaposed it is being shown in the film and it is also being shown that there is an egalitarianism in the tribal life uh, which is absent in uh, a modern society and the excesses in which emperors they indulge at the expense of the vast majority of the population was also being shown and how the resources they are being appropriated by a few people and others uh, they are not be ge- being given the access uh, to the resources was also being uh, highlighted in the film another film was najma which was made in 1943 as you can see on the screen which it, it started it starred ashok kumar and uh, veena and the story is about the love affair between them and uh, it does not culminate in marriage and both marry other individuals and finally settling with each other's partners and when talk about the themes which are being talked about in this particular film that how they emphasize the importance of education that how uh, education is a medium which is a medium for mobility and the necessity for the modern development within the uh, muslim community that how Uh, there is a need that with education the muslim community uh, can also develop in the modern framework so this film was to- uh, talking about the issues of uh, the backwardness of the muslim community uh, before independence i am talking about the period of 1940s and this was being realized by mehboob khan who himself uh, was a muslim and he realized that education is uh, one factor which would definitely uh, bring about that kind of a change where a modern development of the community uh, would happen 
and uh, we also talk about that how the traditions like arranged marriage they are being in a way upholded in the film and uh, some of the scholars like Richard Allen and Ira Bhaskar uh, they talk about that how it deals with the family relationships and the uh, effects of tahzeeb uh, or manners on them. So, uh, we find that the film's upper class Lakhnavi protagonist, they live in economically privileged world and they follow in a way traditional tehzeeb or etiquette uh, of Lucknow. So, in a way uh, family uh, kind of an honor or family values, they, they have been highlighted in this particular film. And uh, it also in a way focused on the male female relationships in the upper class Muslim communities. And uh, we also find that many of these elements they became prototype for later Muslim social films like Chaudhavi Ka Chand, Mere Mehboob, Bahu Begum, Mehboob Ki Mehndi, Pakiza, etc. Uh, we also see that another important film made by Mehboob was Anmol Ghadi, which was a musical hit. And it uh, featured the singing stars like Suriya, Noor Jahan and Surinder. Another film which was made by Mahmoob Khan was Andaz in 1949 and it was a richly mounted and highly gripping film and it was a powerful statement against the pitfalls of affluent Indian girls taking blindly to westernized ways of friendship and love and the film depicts the love triangle between Dilip Kumar, Raj Kapoor and Nargis and it in a way projects the ideas of modernity and its ways in the framework of westernization. So, uh, we find that uh, such kind of uh, portrayal where Raj Kapoor, Nargis as well as Dilip Kumar, uh, they are being shown as uh, friends in that way and some kind of uh, impact of uh, westernization is being shown in this film and the idea of uh, modernity, the way uh, it should be there in the society or the way it is creating that kind of an impact in uh, society which is not uh, right from the uh, some kind of a perspective from the ethical point of view it has been argued or shown uh, in the film and uh, we find that how uh, she also realizes uh, the kind of mistake which has been uh, made and uh, how Nargis uh, in a way shoots Dilip Kumar in the climax scene and uh, in, in, in the in the one of the scenes and she is being imprisoned and so it is being shown that how women is being punished uh, for her ways the way she had uh, tried to befriend uh, males in the society because it is also talking about the patriarchal system of uh, the or the kind of setup of the society and it is in a way also trying to talk about the behavioral norms of the society that how uh, women uh, they have to uh, in a way live a life where some kind of uh, behavioral norms of the society have to be uh, followed by them. Another film which was made by him was Aan in 1952 where Dilip Kumar, Premnath, Nimmi and Nadira were there and the, again it is a love triangle between Dilip Kumar, Nimmi and Nadira. And the story basically talks about the Emperor Maharaj reveals that he plans to free India from monarchy and turn to democracy. And uh, Premnath is shown in a villainous role in this uh, particular film. And uh, uh, another uh, film which he uh, made in 1954 was Amar which was dealing with the controversial subject matter of rape and the film revolves around the upper caste lawyer Dilip Kumar, his feminist fiancé, uh, social worker Madhubala and Nimmi a poor milkmaid and uh, the film talks about the sense of justice that how it is also very important for, for the poor as well. And it also raises questions regarding the position of women uh, where uh, despite uh, uh, the way Nimmi is being treated by Dilip Kumar in the film, she refuses to divulge the name of the person who was responsible for her pregnancy. And uh, finally, we see that the marriage between Nimmi and Dilip Kumar takes place from the active uh, support of uh, Madhubala. So this uh, particular film raises the question of law that how justice is very important for every section of society and also uh, that the people those who are elite or those who are rich uh, they should also in a way contribute uh, to the sense of justice by acknowledging any kind of an activity which uh, they have committed. Uh, one uh, landmark film uh, which with, with which uh, Mahbub Khan is associated is Mother India which was a remake of Aurat and how it shows the story of a woman's struggle 
and uh, this film was also criticized for showing uh, nation as mother some of the critics they in a way criticized that why nation is being shown as a mother but uh, the kind of ideas uh, which are associated with uh, the the country as motherland and how family and village both of them they are considered to be nation and the idea of nation building at that point of time was also very very important because india had just become independent and it was grappling with poverty unemployment and so many other social and political issues apart from the kind of violence uh, which came or which was perpetrated after the partition of india so we basically find that the film talks about the position of women that women are not only symbol of virtue and uh, uh, but they are also ready to take on the responsibilities as well so uh, the symbol of virtue uh, definitely is it is associated and she, because uh, nargis is not ready to compromise at any cost in the film though she is an object of lust for the money lender but she uh, in any way does not compromise uh, till the end so she is being seen as an ideal uh, woman uh, whether where she is portrayed as a dutiful wife responsible daughter in law and committed mother and uh, her transformation comes when she attains old age and she is being portrayed as mother india uh, because uh, she is ready to kill her own son rather she kills her own son so that she is able to uh, save the honor uh, of a girl who is from her village and uh, so the honor of uh, the girl or the kidnapped girl is equated with the honor of the community or the nation and uh, the the film also also talks about uh, the issues of the patriarchal order and uh, the kind of roles which uh, women play so how the thought of women as a nation is being particularly shown as you can see on the screen as well the mention of nation as a mother is being made in bankim chandra chatterjee's anand math as you can see on the screen and how tanika sarkar has also talked about uh, this aspect in an article written by her that how it was later transformed into a song of freedom struggle along with new image of mother india so how this uh, concept of uh, mother india Uh, it was being in a way seen and how bankim uh, chandra chatterjee's anand math uh, uh, novel of 19th century where a group of rebels they sing vande mataram that i hail the motherland so all these uh, kinds of ideas they are in a way uh, shown or they are connected when one is talking about uh, a film called mother india which was made in 1957 and these kinds of issues they were quite relevant in that particular point of time as well uh, because when india attained independent we had seen the kind of violence which women they had to undergo Uh, during the partition times and how uh, the the kind of violence which was played o- over the bodies of the women uh, during the times of partition was a, a very recent kind of a phenomena uh, in those times and uh, uh, we see that how the film also talks about the unity of india that the famous muslims those who were engaged in production were mehboob khan nargis noshad ali who was the music director and uh, Rachel Dwyer who is uh, one of the scholars on films she has talked about the utilization of the map of pre partition india means a denial of an ideology of the muslim separatism and this film also received the film fair award for the best film and the best director and it was also a nominee for the academy award for the best uh, foreign in the in that category where best foreign language film so uh, we see that how in this uh, particular film she is ready to sacrifice for the sake of family uh, or, or the honor of the community and uh, non rebellion she is non rebellious to the established uh, social patterns and how she is also willing to put spouse at a, ahead of her own interests so in a way she is shown to be very compromising and at the same time she is very uh, she has that kind of a resolve where she is not uh, uh, ready to compromise in any ma- any manner with regard to her sanctity 
So, uh, we find that uh, in many of the films during this time, uh, women's uh, portrayals, they have been, uh, there has been a lot of stereotyping, they are being shown as unidimensional characters, they are shown to be either good or bad, black or white, there are no shades of grey. And this kind of dichotomy is reinforced in many of the films between the heroine and the vamp and the wife and the other film. So, uh, we find that in the framework of uh, the women characters, they are shown to be an epitome of virtues and values and uh, the image of women as Sita as a heroine is repeatedly invoked. We also find that uh, uh, when one is trying to show uh, the women characters, then these uh, women characters as they have been portrayed in other uh, films as well. Uh, in, in, uh, we find that especially in the later times uh, that women they have been also portrayed in the shades of uh, grey as well. Then if you try to compare uh, Mahbub Khan with other filmmakers of that uh, particular period, for example, uh, V. Shantaram, Bimal Roy, Satyajit Rai, Atitik Ghatak, Minal Sen, K. Abbas, Chetan Anand, then we find that uh, V. Shantaram, Bimal Roy also exhibited all these filmmakers rather they exhibited that kind of uh, sensitivity in terms of portrayal of uh, the women characters uh, which was also being exhibited by Mahbub Khan. And uh, uh, for example, uh, v, v. Shantaram's uh, Dunya Namane or uh, Bimal Roy, so many films, Sujata, Bandani, all of them. And how these uh, filmmakers, uh, they also had this, that kind of a sensitivity or consciousness uh, concerning the women's issues. And when one talks about Mehboob Khan, uh, we find that he definitely made a lot of uh, contribution to the Indian films and uh, his uh, cinema was socially relevant and uh, he also advocated the idea of humanism uh, through the films which he made. And all sorts of injustice uh, which was there in society, he was uh, he projected uh, such kind of images where he wanted to remove uh, that kind of injustice which was there in the society and wanted to bring about um, a lot of reforms in the society for the upliftment of the various sections of the people. And finally, we can also see that uh, he was in a way advocating the idea of egalitarianism in the society. So, uh, when we tend to understand uh, Mahbub Khan and the kind of films which were made by uh, Mahbub Khan, uh, we realized that he was a filmmaker, socially conscious filmmaker who was very well aware with what all was happening around him and many of his themes they were borrowed from the contemporary times. Uh, so, with this I would like to end the discussion. Thank you very much.